It's Transport Month in Johannesburg and the city is hosting the biannual Ecomobility World Festival. Its goal? To highlight greener and more sustainable transport systems to vehicle manufacturers, service providers and innovators. There's a lot on offer coming on the heels of the last Ecomobility World Festival two years ago in Suwon, South Korea. The plan is to put up rear via bus services uh, in Santin. It's also to make sure that our public transport is accessible to a lot of people. So even after the festival, we're going to see construction now for public transport facilities coming up, rear via stations, BRT network coming up. So it's going to continue going beyond uh, the Ecomobility Festival. According to a recent United Nations report, 69% of the world's population is expected to live in cities by 2030. And the simple bicycle, in its electric and traditional forms, is in the spotlight as one of the most efficient ways to travel, as are other modes of transport that are not always the newest wheels on the block. International studies have shown these are some of the keys to traffic decongestion and decreasing carbon emissions. Eco Mobility World Festival 2015, it's an initiative that the city of Joburg started, so you must promote efficient and different ways of moving around. Unlike being in your car, you can usually use the Segway just to get around. It's eco-friendly, it's cheap, it's reliable, and that's how it moves. During the month of October, the city of Johannesburg has declared parts of the city a no-go for cars. But despite these lanes dedicated to cyclists and pedestrians, they've mostly been empty. Public reaction to this initiative has been mixed. It's making life difficult for us because we don't have any free movement. Some of the streets are closed. You have to use a lot of fuel because of that. The festival's message is simple. Leave your cars at home. But in today's modern world, this might be easier said than done. Ecomobility World Festival will be held in 2017 by Pushing in Taiwan. With more cities taking part in this initiative, eco-friendly environments can be created for all citizens across the world. In Natum Kogeli, Channel News Asia, Johannesburg.